Gabrielle, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about these box braids that I have installed at the moment. I'm going to be telling you what I think about them, how I applied them, and then I'm also going to be showing you how I refreshed my scalp to get that like freshly washed feeling. But anyway, if this is your first time on my channel and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, then definitely make sure that you take a look around. Most of my other videos are focused on like wig reviews, styling videos, makeup videos, etc. But this is all a super fun hair channel, so definitely take a look around. And if you like what you see, then hit that subscribe button. So first things first, the hair that I'm wearing, I got from Amazon. It was $37, which is an absolute bargain. I will leave the link down below in the description box. I have Prime. So these were with me, I think within one day, actually. I know usually it's two day shipping, but I think I got these within one day, which was like even better. The hair that I'm wearing is from a company called Ali Rovam, and I decided to go for the 3S box braids, and I got it in the color black, dark, brown, light brown. They got some weird hyphenation in there. But yeah, essentially it's this ombre shade that I have. And like I said, I'll have the direct link to the ones that I bought down below. They do also have some other styles. I think they had like Senegalese twists. I think they have like some bigger box braids as well. And they also have them in like different colors. I saw some really cute pictures in the um, like the review section of like some really nice colored ones. Before I go ahead and tell you what else I thought about the braids, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I applied them. So this is how the braids look when you get them from Amazon. They just come in a plastic bag. Also in there, you're gonna see that you do get a crochet hook. I swear I have like 10 of these things already. The braids are 24 inches long and I am 5'5", in case you're wondering. The ends of them look absolutely gorgeous. Everything about these braids is just very neat. They look very, very good. Here's the braiding pattern that I use. So I've got 12 at the top and then each two go into like one fat cane row. Um, I like to have the cane rows in the front be about the same size as the crochet braids that I'm installing. So that's why I wanted them to be a little bit smaller. So here we go, I'm just gonna be showing you how I install crochet braids. So as you can see, first things first, as I put that hook through my hair, then I'm gonna latch it on to the end of the loop on the braid, and then I'm just going to pull that through, dragging it down a little bit, and then I'm just gonna grab the end of the braid, hook it on, and then pull it through. I do actually recommend going a little bit higher when you do it. This is just me kind of first starting out and getting into my rhythm. So I was going quite low, like closer to where it was more of like a light blonde. But if you go a little bit higher, it's actually a little bit easier. Also, don't put the hook through the braid. Make sure you wrap it around it right here. I did not soak these braids in apple cider vinegar before installing them. And even though I have a very sensitive scalp, I had no issues with irritation. So it's actually been two weeks today that I've had these braids in and I absolutely love them. When I was like 10 years old, I really wanted box braids. And sorry, I know I'm going off on a tangent. We're going away from the review, but I have to say this. When I was 10, I really wanted box braids and I asked my mom for them and she would just not let me get them. I think it was just because of like how long it would take and she just didn't want to deal with the effort. Not that she would be the one braiding them because I would have went to a salon. But anyway, I was never allowed them so finally at my big age now I finally got my box braids and I'm literally so so happy with these they were easy enough to install obviously it takes a lot of patience I had to wash my hair then I had to cane row my hair I was a little bit concerned because I had just got one pack which has six packs so it's like so okay so it's one order of six packs of 22 strands. So altogether there's 132 strands. And when I first got them, I was a little bit concerned as whether it would be enough for me. Let me tell you now, for me personally, it is enough. If you were a person who likes your hair to be a little bit more full, then you might wanna go ahead and order another pack. Not that I think you'll go ahead and use all six packs in that order, but you might use like an extra one or two just to really give you that full feeling. 
For me, as I said, six packs was definitely enough. I think it gives you a full enough appearance. There are a few little gaps here and there, but for me, it doesn't really bother me. Also, I have quite a sensitive scalp, so wearing any more than six packs, I think would just irritate me a little bit too much. When I first put these in, I really had to like get used to them. I remember the first like day, I just felt like my head was just like, oh my God, it was like my head was just so heavy. Not that my head was heavy or that these are are really heavy because now I'm used to it but it was just like from going from my natural hair which is only like shoulder length to then having all of this hair kind of installed it's just like oh wow this is like a really big difference even though I said though it was like a little bit for me to get used to I haven't had any like tension bumps or anything like that you'll see after two weeks the braids still look really really good like they're coming out a little bit but the ends are all still absolutely perfect. The braids look fantastic. Like I'm super impressed with how well these have held up. Overall, I definitely recommend these braids. I think they're a super cute summer style. And if you have the patience to sit there and cornrow your hair and then install them, or if you have a sister or a friend or someone who can do it for you, then I would say yes, definitely go ahead and get them. I myself, I'm probably gonna keep these in for another one to two weeks. We'll see, it just kind of depends on how the foundation is looking and how itchy it is. But yeah, if there's any other things that I've missed or any questions that you have about these braids, then definitely leave them down below and I will answer them. But for right now, I'm gonna move on to the part in the video where I show you how I refreshed my scalp. So as I said, it's been two weeks now since I've had my crochet box braids in. They are a little bit itchy. My scalp is definitely itchy. This is usually the point where I would just go ahead and take them out and just wash my scalp but I want to try something different today I've seen this Cantu root rinse a few times and I want to give it a try myself so this is the root rinse that I'll be using today so usually this is what I use when I have braids in like underneath my wigs um, and when they get a little bit itchy I will apply this to my scalp the thing about this stuff though is that it can build up and like usually it will leave like bits on my scalp and then that just makes me have to wash it even more because it just looks really gross so that's why I, today I wanted to combine it with the root rinse to see how that works so far over the last two weeks on my scalp I have been using the Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture and then also some black castor oil hair food from Tropical Isle as you can see I really love castor oil like castor oil is one of the oils that for my scalp is just incredible and does a really really good job. I had like bad dandruff after I stopped relaxing my hair years ago and the thing that really helped to clear it up was tea tree oil and cast oil. Like those two things, amazing. Literally all of these hair products and even this headscarf that I'm wearing I got from Amazon. So I will leave all of the links down below in the description box so that way you can check it all out. Like I swear Amazon is like my new black beauty hair store. Like I literally get everything. It's so easy, especially when you've got Prime and you've got two day shipping. Like I'm so lazy, like please just send it to me. It's easier. But anyway, without any more talking, as I say a lot, let's get on and try this root rinse and see how it goes. So this, oh my God, this, <laughs> I've taken the lid off. This stuff is quite liquidy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and separate my hair and then start applying it in between where my cornrows are just to really get it on the scalp. Oh, it's leaking down my neck. So I definitely recommend wearing like an old t-shirt. Already it feels really refreshing. It smells just like apple cider vinegar to be honest with you like a little bit nicer than apple cider vinegar but very very similar to apple cider vinegar So it's been about five minutes now and my scalp feels really refreshed. It feels like really cool. It's got like a nice cooling sensation. So because I'm doing this in front of the camera, I've just got a little pot of water and then I've got my wash rag. Um, it does say that you should rinse this out, but I really don't want to like rinse my whole head. So I'm just gonna use a wash rag to do it to just kind of cleanse my scalp. Um, and then we'll go from there and see how that works.
Okay, so I'm done washing it with the wash rag. I would say the only thing when you're doing it with a wash rag that, you know, is different to like completely rinsing it out is that when you massage it, you do get like any build up that you've got in your hair obviously come to the surface. And with the wash rag, it is that little bit harder to remove it. So do just keep that in mind. I was there with my wash rag in the bathroom, like really trying to get in there and get it out, at least, especially in the places where like I've got my part, you know, and like people are gonna see. I don't wanna have any like bits and pieces there. What I'm gonna do right now is just quickly blow dry my hair just to make sure that all of my scalp and the braids underneath are dry and then from there I will move on to the next step. So now that my base is all dry and feeling super refreshed I'm now going to go in with this stuff and just pop this on my scalp. This is more of a gel and I don't like to use too much as I've already said just because otherwise then you get product buildup which then leads to itching which you know it's like a vicious cycle. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this throughout like in the middle of the cane rose. Just massaging it in very lightly. Okay, and that is it for right now. A little bit later on before I go to bed, I might apply a little bit more of my oil hair serum and maybe a little bit of leave-in conditioner, we'll see. But for right now, I just wanna leave it how it is just because my scalp feels a lot more refreshed. It's not that itchy at all anymore. There's like a couple of places where it's like a little bit of itch, but I think that's just because, like I said, I have a sensitive scalp. So like when I do stuff to it, you'll see it go red quite quickly and it will be a little bit irritated. So I just kind of want to let it calm down, cool down, and that is it really. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I will be back with another one very soon. Bye guys. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pee.